What's going on guys? Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be walking through a beautiful double wide. This one, this one is nice. This right here is model RC3076 Bravo. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,280 square foot home. And I'll tell you what, the T111 siding that they use right here is just absolutely incredible. I love the grays and the darks. And once you get inside this home, it just makes it even better. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Now this one does have kind of like a foyer. I mean, it's already beautiful. You can already see right from the get go. It's, it's beautiful. So this is your entrance. You come into this nice vinyl plank floor right off of your front door. You do have a coat closet and it has a whole bunch of decorations right now. So it is what it is. These are model homes. But coming into this living room, now this home does have two different living spaces. This is the first, and you have all these built-in cabinets over here. Maybe put your TV where the clock is, or just leave the clock, you know what I mean? Beautiful tray ceilings. Got the can lights and the fan. And then I'll pan you around and let you just take it all in real quick. Really nice. Like there is something everywhere in this home. It's ridiculous. Opposite the built-ins I just shown you, you do have like a little bar right here area. I would imagine that's what that would be used for. And then right off of that, you enter into your kitchen area with this nice opening and your little bar on this side for your island. And then coming around the corner into the kitchen itself. Gorgeous. So your kitchen sink does look out over into your living room. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Editor, edit that out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, and then coming down the counter even more, it kind of drops down. It has this beautiful navy blue tile backsplash really nice almost like a cream colored cabinet and then they go almost all the way up to the ceiling not quite but the counters just go for days you got your gas stove your range hood that goes all the way to the ceiling and then more cabinets and more cabinets and more counter space really nice then as far as the island you do have these huge pendant lights that come down over the top of it you got plenty of space for a couple stools you got an outlet on this side and then again all of the drawers and cabinets they aren't soft clothes but that's something that you could upgrade to you have your pantry. And then some more counter space next to that. And then your refrigerator. Not necessarily the refrigerator you have to have. This one would honestly look really nice with a big old stainless. I think it would fit the space really nice. Continuing on in the kitchen and dining room area, you have plenty of space for your dining room table. And then that opens up into your formal sitting room, the fan and the can lights. I love when I walk into a really nice home and it's just like, yes. Get me Gives me like that feel good sensation. All right, again, I've talked about this before. These homes just lure you into the master bedroom. I don't know why. So we're gonna start down here with all of the other bedrooms. This is the first one that you come to. Nice size room. Probably should have turned the light on before I came in here. 
<laughs> it is what it is. This is real and raw. You know what I mean? So your closet, decent sized closet. And then you have this huge like common area back here. And we'll work our way around the exterior, I guess. So coming into the second bedroom. This one is about the same size as the one that we just went into. And again, you still got the crown molding going throughout, which is nice to see. Sometimes you get in here and they stop the crown molding once you get out of like the, the main living areas. So that's nice. And then you do have your closet with the wood shelf. And then in here you do have carpet, but if you wanted to keep running that vinyl plank floor, you can definitely do that as well. And then into your utility room, just absolutely beautiful utility room. You have your back door with your furnace. And this one's locked. Man. There we go. And your water heater. I'm sure you've all seen a water heater. I didn't have to put that much effort into it. Anyway, cabinets galore in here with a nice little island for folding. Nice deep wash basin. What all's in here? You got some nice wood shelves and they have plenty of little holes for adjusting them. And then as far as the cabinets themselves, like the tops, they don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. And then here you can put a little hanging rod and then you have your washer and dryer hookups. And then from there you come into, ah, I keep shocking myself. This is ridiculous. It's like torture right now. Anyway, this is your first of the two bathrooms. You have your single vanity. your shower and tub combo, and your toilet right next to the shower. You have a linen closet. It's actually two doors, but they have them rubber banded together. All right. Coming out of the bathroom, I almost passed it. You have a linen closet. I hope, did I? I'm going crazy. I don't know if that's the first. Did I show that or not? I don't remember. All right. Then taking the walk down to the master bedroom. Beautiful master bedroom. These really nice tray ceilings. You have the can lights in there as well, along with a fan. In this room, you also have your closet does have a light. Try not to shock myself. So again, nice size walk in. I can get in here. A couple of me could get in here. And then off of that, you do have another wonderful ensuite bathroom, huge tub, double vanity, Super cute guy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Jen, you better agree with that. Anyway, so not really nice tub. And then you have your water closet, toilet area. Let's go ahead and go in there. Oh, this thing's got a whole bunch of room. Really nice. And then you have your standalone shower with the glass sliding door and the tile surround. I'm so afraid to just shock myself now. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what's happening. It's we're 10 in right now. I think I'm gonna do one more and then probably go get some food and stuff and come back at it tomorrow and show you guys the rest of these amazing homes. Now, as far as the price of this home, it's gonna start out at about $221,000. If you do want any information on this home, Homes Direct, 
or any of the other Homes Direct locations. I'll leave all that information down in the description below. Definitely go look into that. Anyway, guys, I greatly appreciate you hanging out with me today. And, uh, as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.